If the notifications of your social media and endless other distractions leave you in the clutches of procrastination, here is the powerful tool for you, the Pomodoro Technique. On the 28th of August 2021, Globus Journal of Progressive Education published a research journal on the effects of the Pomodoro Technique on academic-related tasks and procrastination behavior. According to this report, the application of the Pomodoro Technique is more effective in reducing procrastination behavior and maintaining focus and productivity throughout the day. Pomodoro is actually tomato in the Italian language. In this video, I will discuss how to incorporate this technique into your study routine. Before getting into the topic, I would like to tell you a little about the history of the Pomodoro Technique. Back in the 1990s, a guy named Francesco Cirillo named this technique the Pomodoro Technique because he used a tomato-shaped timer to track his work as a university student. Since then, this technique has become widely popular in different situations focused on productivity and self-improvement. The Pomodoro technique basically involves breaking your work or study time into intervals called Pomodoros, typically lasting 25 minutes, followed by short breaks. Let's discuss the process in detail. First of all, select any task you want to work on. It could be studying, writing, programming, or any other task that requires concentration. Then set a timer for 25 minutes, which represents one Pomodoro. You can also set a timer for 30 or 40 minutes according to your concentration level. For this, you can use a timer clock, stopwatch, or any smartphone timer app. During the 25 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes Pomodoro, focus solely on the chosen task. Avoid distractions, such as unrelated notifications, social media, etc., and give your full attention. I personally put my phone on airplane mode or do not disturb mode. When the timer goes off, take a short break of around 5 to 8 minutes. Use this time to stretch, grab a snack, or do anything unrelated to recharge your energy. After the break, start another Pomodoro and repeat the process. In this way complete four constructive pomodoros and take a longer break of around 20 to 30 minutes to rest and relax. You should keep track of the number of pomodoros completed throughout the day. It helps you understand your productivity patterns and make adjustments if needed. Keep in mind, it is not necessary to bind yourself to a fixed time always. If you are watching a lecture, complete it then take a break and start watching another. It depends on the task you are doing. Experiment with different timings to find what works best for you. There are so many popular Pomodoro apps that can help you do better time management. Focus Mode, Forest, Minimalist, Focus List, Pomotodo, and Focus To Do are some of them. These apps give you a digital way to track 25 minutes, followed by a 5-minute break, and also support customization according to your need. If you find this video helpful, please like this video and do subscribe to my channel.